Hi everyone, um, my name is Anita and today I am joined by Caitlin Haynes who is one of our UQ alumni. I thought it'd be great if you could start by introducing yourself, um, so what degrees you did at UQ um, when you graduated and what you're doing now. So my name is Caitlin Haynes, I am the CEO of Hepatitis Queensland. Uh, I've got a number of degrees from the University of Queensland, so I did my undergraduate in biochemistry where I graduated in 2010, then did an honours degree finishing in 2011, also in biochemistry, uh, and then a PhD in medical research that I graduated from in 2016. And now I'm back and I'm halfway through an MBA with UQ at the moment as well. What made you decide to do biochemistry and what were the highlights of your undergraduate experience? So what made me decide to do biochemistry, it was actually a really tough decision for me to make. I was tossing up between lots of different majors. I had lots of things I was interested in. There was neuroscience, genetics, all of these different things that I could have majored in. Um, and the reason I chose biochemistry is because I feel like everything else is just applied biochemistry. So biochemistry teaches you all the techniques and then everything else is just applied biochemistry. So from your science degree and from your PhD, what do you think were the most valuable experiences and the sort of experiences you would recommend for current undergrad undergraduate students to um, try and pick up? Definitely experience in a lab. So I know that you've got practical classes as part of your undergrad courses, but actually doing research is very, very different and much more exciting than what you get to do in a, in a prac in undergrad. It's, it's not so formulaic um, and you get to do some really interesting stuff. So if you have the opportunity to do a research project, um, whether that's for credit or not for credit, I would definitely take the opportunity to do that. Get into a lab a couple hours a week. Um, most projects that I did were about 10 hours a week um, in a lab and for about six months, most of them. And that, that experience was so valuable because it's really, but that was the job I was training for. And it's so valuable to get that hands-on experience of, well, what is this going to be like day to day? Because it's very different to what, what you see in a practical lab um, as part of the university course. 